Why do you hate me like this, guys? What I do, fam? No, like just oh. <laughs> in general, I'm talking about. I'm, Are we started already? We started. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Yo. Let me let me clean up a bit because Friday was say messy. Bro, I can clean up the shit. Yo, <laughs> yo, I got the royal honey, fam. What? The royal honey <laughs> is a tank. What is that? This is a tank, <laughs> see? Like, is that the elixir or that's the? So basically, it's it makes it makes your thing work sick. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not Strong a virga. It's nothing like that. It's a real root natural thing. You know what I'm yeah, trying to say? Six, six, but, six, 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 six. but it's in America right now. You can't get over here. You know what I mean? So if anyone wants, you're gonna have to holler at us for that. You know what I'm trying to say? Thing. But yeah, the royal honey. I'm gonna give you guys. A, a thing out of this to, you know what I mean so, to how try. Does, so how does this work we just take it and it, we're just ready yeah basically no no you it, ingest it or you have no, to rub no. it on your thing it waits Pause. you have to wait like 30 minutes you know what I'm trying to say so okay. it's like you have to suck it's a honey you have to suck it out the pack it's oh, like a the freezy honey. Oh, the royal honey you know what I'm trying to say you can't get that it's in America so you have to say suck um, pause when you say the suck pause yeah pause. you know what I mean so but yo the thing works crazy it's mad like and like your brethren told you it worked? Like your yeah. brethren have confirmed it? Oh, they confirmed it for sure. Proof of concept. And even who else? Who else? <laughs> he said, he, they oh. said like, yo, the second day, that's when it, yo, anytime you're on go, you're ready. Mm. Like, you're trying to say you, you're going to tear up your thing. And it's, yo, it's natural too. Doesn't you know six people say? have a song called We On Go? <laughs> so wait, how many is in that box? Um, I don't even know. I don't even I'm about to say, it, send so. on a thing. I mean, yeah, he is. He I'm, is. I'm, I'm gonna send on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you. So I'm confused because I've never used the blue pill but before, right? So like, it's a hundred a box. It's a hundred a box. Blue so blue you know, blood. if anyone wants, just hit up. You know what I mean? So good, you got the honey connect. So like, like the blue pill, like when you're stiff up, mm-hmm. and and you know you, Gersh. Yeah, yeah. You're still stiff up or like it just goes down. Like, how does that part work? Okay. Because that's the confusing part. That's the part that bothers me because usually when I gersh, I want to go down. I want to relax. I don't want my shit to be still be like. <laughs> so like, it's funny how you're calling it gersh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'll go down. So you could control this one still. This one, like what is what you, say? <laughs> you could control it, fam. Like whenever when you want to get done. hard. Yeah. Whenever you want to get hard, you get hard. But if you want to <laughs> calm down, you could just. It'd be going down. <laughs> but there's another one. This one is harder. This one's another stronger. One. Yo, what's going on? Another one. It's a Whoa. stronger one. Yo, what the hell? Gucci. Gucci. The master- this one's stronger, Gucci, but... One Gucci's pulling but out don't, products don't like open, fucking... Don't open this one still. What? Huh? This one? So, yeah, that's the real honey. Holy. The ultimate power source. This is not a paid yeah. endorsement, guys. So, just, yeah. we just... Gucci just yeah. discovered something... But hey, but hey, guys, you know, like if you want to send a bag and we could, you know, Gucci will promote this, sh- that, or the fuck. Yo, it's Gucci. 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 This is Gucci. dope. It all has freaking barcode in thing. Everything. Instructions, oh, directions, yeah. take one, sachet, every Yo, two bad, days man. as needed. When you guys try this, let me know. Yo, it works for like three, four days. So I think whoa, it could work for a whole whoa, week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're walking. You're no, saying, no, you're not. St- yo, whenever <laughs> you want to get hard, man. Because you know they say on the thing. Whenever if it's I, 72 hours or more, no. call your doctor. So yeah. hold on. So hold on. I, I, I can, when you're saying whenever I want to, so yeah, I could just be it's thinking control. and I could just be like, all right, do no, it. And then, bing. No, no, it won't go like that. It's not, it's not fire like that. It's not. But what? whenever <laughs> whenever you want to really like get it popping with a thing like normal, then you it would just, you know, and just make sure it's strong for you. You stand at attention. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's your song, Gucci, before we even start? Um, High End. High End by who? Um, Chris Brown. Holy, Chris that's Brown. how you're feeling, eh? Chris Yo, Brown, what's wrong with Gucci? Hand. Chris Brown, hi. This is the second because and last week it was holy. You probably have no about that. There's not a. Yeah. Got the display. Remember, really? Are you happy? Are they happy for you, Friday? No. Poor King. Oh man, don't worry. The Lord will save them. 
Um, so we are it's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast fried Ricky Shred, aka um King Piss Off, aka <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with this guy? AKA move the culture forward, aka Great Bay. Um, and we're back over here at the Visionary Arts Center. We got Gutsy Guts in the building. <laughs> oh, you like Great Bay? That's a- no, I like the other one. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Fucking old man. We got Gucci Gucci in the motherfucker building. Gang, gang. Um, and yeah, man, episode 273, back at it like a bad crack addict. Um, what, what are we talking about today, fam? What's going on with you? Um, oh, oh, and off the top, there's no top six. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> bam. Bam. I don't know, fam. I'm just out here. We're just living. Yeah. The next thing you know, niggas is ah, 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 ah and then niggas is. Are just... oh, you afraid to make lists now, fam? Yeah. You're no, no, no. Hey. I just, it's just not this I just want to talk about some shit. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Know you. What I'm saying, talk to us, guys. Well, first off, I want to say, um, Asada, thank you that you're still alive. Mm. My cat, bro. My cat almost. I was like Asada. <laughs> My cat almost killed herself today. Jumped off the balcony. You went on somebody else's balcony. It was wild. Whoa. Uh, Tried to get the freaking ambulance out there. Ambulance don't want to come, but so I saw that, you know what I'm saying? You're um, staying in the fucking house. Mm-hmm. But yeah, to everybody else, Six Views, Six Views, Uncut, episode 85, out right now with Four and Anita, Classic. Um, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> six, 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 if you know, you know. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Um... Fuck, I feel like there's something else we were supposed to talk about, but I can't remember. Gucci, you know what I'm saying? You're definitely right. Luca did definitely, you know, smash the fuck oh. out of those guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He, um, Luca did definitely he did his thing. Rough, so. um, Pat Beverly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you guys have tuned into the sports right now, Pat Beverly is killing it right now for me. And other than that, I'm just out here, you know. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just paying attention to what's going on. Breaking news guy out mm. here, you know, breaking some solid news. I don't know why anybody else ain't talking about it for some strange reason. But, you know, I guess we are the guys that are going to talk about all the hood guys and the shit that you guys are afraid to talk <sighs> about. So, And we're going to cap out here and not tell the truth. Don't get me started. <laughs> but other than that, man, you know the city. It's all love. We're going to try and have a really, really great episode. Yeah, man. What you saying, Gooch? Nothing. My Just water. Same old, same old. You know what I mean? Stay. I'm in the gym still, grinding, Jeez. putting my work in every day. Drinking the honey. You know what I mean? The oh, honey yeah, day. I, <laughs> I'm on the honey tip now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to put you guys on some game right now mm. with the honey too. But yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, this is trying to it's cool. go yeah, harder. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what do you guys really quick? What do you guys think about the whole weather? How we went back oh, to winter. It switched up. So yeah, yeah. It's bipolar in this motherfucker. Like, and too, like I hear people always like, say, yo, summer weather, summer. So we're not even going to talk about this whole global warming thing that we're just going to skip over uh, spring. <laughs> like, no, like we just went to winter into the fucking summer. Bro, there's a whole other thing, fam. That shit got to take the back door. You know, the vid is the, is the main stage, fam. That's the headliner, bro. Fam, the vid? We haven't been talking about the vid since like last year, fam. Yeah, but over they, that. they've been the headliner, fam. The fucking, those guys, the global warming, they're the opening act now, fam. They're, 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 they're B-list celebrities. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting there C-list. like, yo, like, are we not going to talk about that? Like, we hadn't have, like, we had like one, two day of rain. It rained the other day and then that was it. Literally, we just went, it's either winter or summer. We're not, there's no in-between yeah. spring weather. Like, that's yeah. madness. <laughs> like, that's kind of weird. It's but, crazy hey. stuff because it was really hot, like 27, 28. Yeah. And then it just right. dropped and to like 14. Minus minus 14. <laughs> <laughs> With the wind. <laughs> yeah, fam. The way this shit felt, it was cold. Today is cold. Yeah, bro. it's cold. Jacket. You look like you're in vacation with Gucci. I know. Yeah, when yeah, I- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when I take off the jacket, though. <laughs> 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 what else is going on with you? Uh, nothing. Same old, same old, man. Yo, shout out to the supporters, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shout out to the team. You already know we stay working. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. You already know. Gucci. <laughs> Boy, Gucci. <laughs> Make sure you guys go subscribe to Kickstar <laughs> Studio. Show Gucci yeah. some love, man. <laughs> What's going on, fam? When you're dropping some new some videos know, on our head top. Like. He's not until they are <laughs> fucking monetizing. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, about I'm gonna get back, back in. Yeah, you get back at it this time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, but listen. Also, I wanted to give a big salute to to Cosmic Gardens. Um, you know, you know, just 
went through there. They, they were saying, hey, yo, you know, there's two different selections you should try. So, you know, pick up a bag for the man then. You know what I'm saying? Just pick up an un- bag and see what, see what some of the selections that Cosmic Garden got. Let me see if I can pull up their Instagram because... You got Space Queen. Space Queen. I know they had some cookies. I, I'm, about, I'm smoking something out of there right now. Um, the, one of the cookies ones. This is a GMO. A GMO. Oh. Holy, holy. Salute to Cosmic Garden, yo. We also got some GSC Kush. That's a hybrid. <laughs> and and for the people, that's the people that used to be um the youngster then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cosmic Garden. And we got this one right here, Craft Goldenberry. Mm. Exclusive from Whole Flower Mood Rings. Yeah, man. Big select to them. Hit them up. They're over there. I don't know. Somewhere in Etobicoke. Yeah, they're up in Etobicoke by Highway 27 and Humber. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, go check them out. They're right next to Starbucks over there. And, you know, tell them the, the, the guys who we love hip hop uh, mm-hmm. like the paddock. I'm like, yo, who? Well, I was, I'm like, who the fuck is that, fam? Yeah. <laughs> Gucci picked up a vaping habit. <laughs> <laughs> It's changing, man. Right? It is mad. If I could only tell you guys what really happened today, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see, me, if I was me and I was editing this, I would really tell you guys what happened and all this would be beeped out. But today's really been call? a mad day, fam. You're talking about the phone call from earlier? The phone call, this, everything. Like, just it's just been a weird day. Like, it really had my cat being frigging on the balcony and, like, I'm kicking off of my neighbor. My neighbor, I'm helping you. I help. I saved your cat. My cat's still off the fucking balcony. How do you even help my cat, fam? <laughs> fam, don't mind your freaking business, bro. But yeah. No, we could we could talk about some of the things because like we're not, you know, we never made any any partnerships with any companies nah, or anything nah, like that. Nah, nah, let's not. You want to leave that alone? Leave it alone. Our political views. But one yeah. thing I do want to, you know, based on some of those political views, I want to send a, an, another RIP to the um, people in Buffalo, okay? The 10 <sighs> victims who died in the massive, Bro. tragic shooting, um, the three other people who were, who were injured, and multiple, multiple people that were in the um, top supermarket there in Buffalo um, on Saturday evening when that um, white guy, I don't even want to call him a gentleman or whatever. You know what I mean? He went through 18-year-old man. That white devil. <laughs> he went through there and... Yeah, just started letting off shots with a camera on him. I haven't seen the footage personally because I'm not trying to watch that type of shit. <laughs> you got the video, Gucci? Yeah, it looked like some Call of Duty. Type That's of what movie. people are saying. Like, right. it looked like a video game. Like you know a what I'm video saying? game. Bro. But it was actually real life. And, like, the thing is, when you go through the list of the different people who, who passed away, everybody was, like, 50 and up. I'm not going to show you what happened, but, like, just to show you, like, that's like just what, and this is just the beginning of him filming himself getting ready to go do the shit. Yeah, yeah, like a You're helmet camera. Sick friggin' you, fam. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear anything about oh, this, this, and that was the reason, and da 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 da. Whoever planted this little friggin' bad Incel. mind you to go do that, fam, it was whack. I watched this fucking video and it hurt my heart, fam. Mm. To see what he did to those innocent black ladies, fam, is mosh up, fam. Yeah, and the thing is, everybody was fifty years and up. Okay, so like it's ranging from 50 years old to 80 years old as far as the ages of the people who um, that he killed. That right? he killed, yeah. So there was a purpose there. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, I'm going to take out this set of people, this age group. Um, obviously, like all, like he did research before to find the most concentrated area of black people close to him because yeah. he, he don't live in an area where there's other black people. Mm. He, don't, he don't live in Buffalo. He lives like in a nearby town. Wow. I, mean, I couldn't even re- do like I I couldn't do any research because after seeing like I heard about the story right mm-hmm. and I don't even like reading up on those things anymore because it's just especially in the stage like you hear about them like a couple of times a year now bro it's like a regular thing yeah but then it's crazy too my pop sent me the fucking no it was even my pops or my bro sent me the video mm. but it's like when I I I didn't want to watch the video too because I'm like yo I don't want to like I'm around people I don't want to get upset yeah but then when I took time and I was by myself and watching the video fam and the one part that really hurt my heart. It's like, I don't even, well, whatever. Like, he shot somebody and he went to go reload. And he like, it's like some real movie type, like zombie shit. He just mm. like, he's just head topping people, fam. They're already shot, but he's making sure that they're gone. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's head topping people. And then he went by one, 
I don't know if they were white, whatever. It was a white and guy. And the person was like, like, yo, no, no, no. He, and he was just like, oh, he said, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. And he went back on doing his shit, fam. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And people are trying to say, oh, we're blaming the fam. There's a fucking problem. Just like everybody's saying the whole, oh, why isn't the Ricos on KKKs and shit like this? Why aren't this motherfucker getting killed? Yes, I don't encourage people dying and shit like mm, that. But if yeah, that was a black right. person, he's dead, bro. This is an idiot thing that's going on in the States, bro. We're going back to the conversation. The black people need to get the fuck out of there, bro. You guys are not safe over there. Yeah, They're but where are they going to go, fam? Go back to Africa. Go somewhere, fam. Nah, that's not, that's not a... Um a you can't, plausible thing to we get can't stop the whole that. black population and then move them to Africa. It's yeah. not the whole black Not everybody population. wants to go neither. Fam. I know, yeah. but it's not the whole black population over in the States because there are, just like you said, there are certain people that do want to stay over there and continue going through the fuckery that they're going to continue going through. No, there's That's some people cool. who are not going through fuckery. It's, what do you mean not for some people not going through fuckery? There's people who are dealing with racial tensions, yes, but then there's some people who are just re- living relatively normal lives, making good money, and having normal lives. They don't want to go to Africa, fam. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure those people were the people at tops. They were living relatively normal lives. And then you have one of these motherfuckers that are just planted there to go execute a whole bunch of black people. And it's just like, we have to continue getting seen. These guys getting taken away while black people are just on the road selling CDs or whatever, and they're getting killed. Yeah, but I go... Everybody moving to Africa is not the solution in my mind. Fam. It's like no, more it's not- of like we have to fucking prosecute these guys um, with higher charges. We got to fucking there's already they ready. always bring up the gun laws on, you know, who should have guns. But this is also in a state where they don't ha- they have heavy gun laws. So there's no excuse for that one there. But on the flip side, should they have looser gun laws in states like that? Because then you'd have more people who would have been able to clap back. Would they? Because well, if that was Florida, seeing, fam, you know, if you go in a store and you're shooting at 20 black people, okay, <laughs> in Buffalo, none of them are going to have guns unless there's a few gangsters who are not supposed yeah. to have a gun, right? But in Florida, fucking maybe five of these people might have a gun on them. But it doesn't mean that they're going to actually bust, fam. They just have a gun on them. That like just might be just a, Yeah, for self-defense or whatever the case may be. I'm just seeing like, at the end of the day, we're seeing how the American government is. And yes, it's a far out thought for everybody to move out. Yeah. You got to fuck that government up, fam. And the only way you're going to fuck the government up <laughs> is take away that black money, fam. Yeah. That black cent, that black... Because that's what, fam, that's what makes the Amer- Americans roll to move, fam. Like mm-hmm. our money, our, 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 our likeness, our culture, everything that we do. Not everything, but like most of the stuff that we do is the reason why the, um, America moves. Most of the reason why the whole world moves. Mm-hmm. So it's like for us, if we if you take that out, what the fuck are they gonna do, fam? Then shit actually has to change. Yeah. I know it's super far out and it's super far left, but I don't think the shit is changing anytime. The shit's getting worse, bro. Like let's be real. Like for we when we were kids, we weren't seeing this. We weren't hearing Gucci. Yeah. You remember growing up hearing about these kind of shootings growing up? Mm-hmm. Not really, fam. You might have heard about it once in a blue moon, bro. Or you hear about, like, if anything, a terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking terrorist attack, bro. Oh, that is definitely. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Shit like this bugs me, bro, because, yo. Yeah, that shit bugs me, bro. And it should bug everybody else. If you're a black person. (laughs) Watch out, we can't talk about it too much. We might lose sponsors. I don't give a fuck. Oh, no. I'm so petty. petty. <laughs> Yo, Gucci, really quick. Can you check my jacket to see if there's a lighter in there? Mind you, doing we're not talking about rappers and people just killing each other, you know? But once that we one, talk yeah. about them killing us, that's a problem. That's not a problem. Oh, them killing us. Yeah. Mm. We could talk about us killing us all day long. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't give a fuck. Oh, that they rapper fucking good. shot at this other rapper. This yeah, hood nigga shot at this other hood nigga and went to jail. Proceed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. do more of those stories. And even with the audience. I'm not even talking about like with like just like the petty shit I'm talking about. What we're talking about here, you know, ho- you know, hopefully some other people are hearing what we're talking about. They agree with some of our opinion, maybe disagree. We can ask them discourse in the comments, right? But I'm doubt it's gonna have as much views as when we bring up on these Toronto rappers or some fucking somebody going to jail or just somebody that, like that fam. something that's involving our pain, our black, our black pain. But black people, unfortunately, like. We don't see our pain until it's one of us. Mm. And I mean one of us as like a family member, a friend. That's when we start to care, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Like if you see a Chinese community, the Indian communities, they get behind whatever just because like it's just what to do. Somalian communities, everybody just get behind whatever 
their community is about, whatever, whatever it is. They just get behind it. For us, it's just like, well, they ain't really got to do, you know, the man them don't really give a fuck. So it's like, yeah, yo, what, what happened in Buffalo is crazy, but what about us over here? And what, you know, like, I, I got to go make WAPs and shit like that. I got to mm-hmm. go OT. What's yeah. happening with, what's happening with the man on Rock Boy Ninjas page, fam? Yeah. Like, that, unfortunately, that, that's what it comes to. So when, until, like, I don't want to say it, but like, uh, if your family member was in there in Buffalo, then you really, ma- then that shit actually then it, matters. Then, then it hits home. Yeah, yeah. But until then, it's just like, yeah, it's sad, but oh, well. Stop black hate. <laughs> Facts. Okay. That, that, let's start that hashtag. Okay. Because as soon as, and I'm not saying that anybody's pain is less than, I'm not, you know, putting pain against pain. You know what I'm saying? It's not a pain competition. However, like as soon as like they started being an escalation in, in, in Asian hate crimes, immediately they were like, yo, stop Asian hate. It started becoming like, a, like let's yell this in people. Let, let's people know that don't fuck around with our culture. You know what I'm saying? We need the same energy, fam. But our culture is so all over the place. It goes back to our culture is not together. So you can't, mm. it's hard. We're so, our culture is more, the, I want to say, and I could be, the, I know you guys might get at me in the comments. Our mm. culture is more divided than any other culture, fam. That's a fact. I don't know any That's other culture. Fact. Like Jamaicans don't want to be considered like West Indian. Like Jamaicans are Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, even the way the West Indian thing is set up. That alone. And bro. Africans and don't want to be. And then Africans don't want to yeah. be. Then we, we look at Somalians different from us. You know mm. what I'm saying? They're so, we're so mush up as a culture, fam. Hella divided, fam. We, We're too divided, <laughs> fam. Chinese yeah. people, whether they're Asians, whoever, and I apologize. No, 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 no. no. They get cheese too. So I, I. No, a they Asian, get cheese. Asian, you can't say yo, you're Chinese. No, you can't. But they're together. Don't get it yeah. twisted. All the Chinese people, they rock with you. The, they know you. Yo, they roll as a clique. Indians, whatever. You go see them out. Fam, I remember one time I was cleaning out a movie theater, fam. And like, it was in Richmond Hill somewhere. Fam, I swear the whole movie theater just had Indian people. Mm. No, but there was like maybe two or black South people. Asian people. South Asians. Yeah. But like the whole movie yeah. theater. Fam. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at a statistic here, and this is from the, um, the Department of Justice, the United States Department of Justice, and bias motivation categories for victims of single bias incidents in 2020. So racially, um, racially motivated crimes, right? From in 2020, there was 7,103 incidents. Now, uh, in 2019, sorry, in 2020, it is 8,052. So That's it's, up. It's going up. You know what I'm saying? Let me see the 2022 statistics for something like this. But it's still early. Yeah. Be- so you have to do 2021. Fam, there's another thing that we could talk about where the statistics are rising like crazy, fam. But, you know, I, I, I know we have to get to talking to some, uh, about some Toronto rappers and who shot who and who, who was beacon at who on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's the more important things yeah. that people want to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, no, but you can talk about it, fam. It's your fucking podcast. Whatever the hell you want to talk about, whatever the hell you want to talk about. As we smoke weed out here, right? You know what I'm saying? We like, smoked out podcast. We don't always have to be smoking weed too, by the way, Freddie. I know that too. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I, I, I know people are like, yo, fam, we don't want to hear about all that shit. Yo, what's going on with top five in the man name? Yeah, man, but at the same man. time, we, but like, we, we are, we are going to gain maybe an audience that does care about it. And, you know, we'll gain a one, two. Like, the core audience, they might be like, ah, oh, fuck, fam, I'll skip to whatever, Mark, Friday. But then we have another audience that are like, you know what, these guys are talking some real shit sometimes. Mm. So, like, and these, are, these are the people that we can actually have proper conversations with. Not, yeah. not conversations with, oh, okay, well, I feel like, oh, well, fuck you then. People who don't know how to have conversations. So, yeah. So I'm looking at some more statistics here. Number of hate victims. And this is, I think this is for 2022, fam. Yo, right now, number of anti-Black or African-American hate crimes is at 2,871. You know what I'm saying? So we're not even the um, top, eh? Yeah, number of hate groups in the United States, 838. Fam, that's mud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The States is a scary place. And don't get it twisted. Anything that's going on over here, we have maybe a lower percentage of, but we have a percentage of over here in Canada. So you're saying everything good that's going over, over there, it's over here, just a lower percentage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, there's KKK here. There's all that oh, yeah. type of shit over here too. They're just maybe less of them and there may be a little bit more low key, but they out here too, fam. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't know. I'm, I'm getting too woke, man. I'm starting, it's starting <laughs> yeah. to, I'm starting to, you know what I mean? Don't, don't worry, YouTube. We're, we'll we'll stop. Don't demonetize us. We'll, we'll keep on saying niggas and all that other dumb shit. But yeah, recipes to the people, their condolences to the, you know, the families yes. that had, just to the victims and shit like that. It's just that hard way. to watch that shit, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And no, yo, honestly, I hope they deal with that nigga. That guy, whoever that wastes you, I hope they deal with him rough in jail, bro. He's going I to hope sag, they bro. know. I hope you guys find him in there and deal with him rough. <laughs> I'm I'm talking snowfall season one, rough. Mm. Do all them dirty thing there. Fire, hit, fire upon that. Hit him with the <laughs> what did Rico Reckless and all them call it? The the, the Dookie something. The, the, the Sen Sen Ray J and and Shug, um what is it? My boy, the booty gang on him. Mm. <laughs> um, also in Buffalo. Right? <laughs> Freddie Gibbs. Allegedly. Well, the video, <laughs> there was no alleged about that ass okay. whipping that he no, was no, catching no. in that I, video. Oh, oh, I was just saying allegedly who who they were saying it was because, Oh, you know, the, the Griselda goons and stuff. No, no, yeah, yeah. It was a, le- allegedly being the Griselda goons. Come on, guys. Let's not do that. We don't know anything. My boy had bigger things to focus on that was going on in Buffalo than, you know, Freddie Gibbs. Well, apparently they walked into the restaurant and seen him there and, you know. They gave him the rough up. Yeah, like those older heads, like the older goons. You know what I mean? They weren't like young. You know how they say, yo, I got the, my young boys about to, to, to hit you with the 30 and all that type of shit. The young boys be wilded. All this no, no. Violence. These guys had the, the old goons. Yeah, they beat you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just oh, boom, just, boom, boom, boom. It, look, it looked like a source award fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back in the day with the source awards, there's a bunch of niggas. Oh, and then they, they pick up that one nigga in the group. They're like, oh, that's, that's so. And it'd be, Back in the day, it'd be so trash. You could barely see anything, but you know that that one nigga would that that was 50. That was buck. Okay. I was watching Hello You Seem. Shout out he, Hello You Seem. Yeah, hello, uh, salute, hello you seem. He was giving a breakdown of why they had too many people for the beatdown. <laughs> he said that when you have too many people in a beatdown, yeah. The person doesn't get the proper beat down because there's too many man. Yeah, like, they're toppling in. on top of each other. Niggas is just trying to get in one shot. Fight back, nigga! Fight back. Yeah. <laughs> and he says like to get a proper beat down, you have to like minimize your crew to like seven. Mm-hmm. Is this facts, fam? Like, what's I, I don't know. Really. I don't want you guys to be not the authorities, really. but like, I, we're not encouraging people to get yeah. beat down. But not what's really. the amount, the proper number to to, <laughs> to initiate a proper beat down on somebody? So that you could, they'll know that they got beat down. Like they, they don't want to post up on the gram later. Yo, I ain't got no, hey, look at me, no scars. No, I just think you have to know. I think they just wanted to send a message. No, but that's not what I'm asking. Hypothetically. You just need three man. Three? You just need three man to send a real yeah. message like that. Fam. Two, mm-hmm. three at most. But like two, three man, that's all you need. Yeah, but okay. You also got to think, you don't know how many people he's going to be with going you in. You need two, three man. I've three seen, I've, solid man. I've seen this with my own two eyes. <laughs> Me, two, three man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've seen two, three mans with my own eyes deal with guys. But this is back in the day. So more, than, more than two? More than two. And there are security guards there. Yo, that's and they sick. That's like movie Security shit. guards. Huh. That's like movie shit. Like kung fu. Like picking yeah. out mad people. Fa- it what fam the man put like <sighs> big up Shane bro <laughs> my nigga Shane he's a big nigga bro and and he was like the, the the behind the scenes nigga trying to do the management shit but I can't remember what happened Scarborough Town Center and then yo he he had one nigga in the headlock <laughs> he was like roughing up a next nigga and he was like pushing off the security guard while the mm. nigga was still in the headlock I was just like yo this nigga like that light skin fucking anger fam is different hey yo you better watch them light skin guys but yeah you just need two three man I'm not gonna say what the other guy was doing. Yeah, you need two, three guys. Okay, what about you, Gucci? What you think? Uh, uh flame five mans. <laughs> five? five? Mans. Yeah. Five's your number? Yeah. What do you think about when I think about five? I always think it's like the Avengers against Thanos. And they had that one B with the nigga. Look, fight back, nigga, fight back. And they, <laughs> they're punching up the nigga, the nigga's like fight back. Five, you can get the, the ass with yeah, the yo. like five niggas. Five guys, you're getting it. You're get, you're gonna show your ass with them. Five guys, you say three, you say five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with five also, fam. Yeah, I think five is a solid number where like there's not too many because like you see what I'm saying like if there's twenty guys, man's are toppling over each other. Like you're not getting the proper 
Yo, hold him. Get him. But you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, depending on your squad, though, because certain squad members roll differently. Mm. Certain guys are going to, yo, pick him up. Pick him up. <laughs> Get that one last shot. Like, niggas are, niggas are going to take their turns, fam. Yeah. But some niggas, like, just like that one, it was just, you don't know, too. Like, he probably had security guards and it was a, it was he, a was ruffle, with his, right? he was with, I think, two of his security. And a shot. And, and his, his porn star girlfriend. Mm. Friday had to point out that is a porn star girl. Yo, they're killing him on there. Yo, fam, online? They're like, yo, you don't know that this girl's taking bare fucking um, dicks in the face every day and uh, and that are not his and this is his gal. Like, I'm like, wow. I said, what? Let me not sidetrack anything. <laughs> Good, I know. There's a whole other conversation in there. <laughs> Listen, Trust me. Yeah. Niggas act like they don't wife fucking crazy like let's not do that dude. they hear she's, she works for OF and they're like they want her more <laughs> but okay Freddie Gibbs what, what's the problem with him fam because if this is the beef that was stemmed from a little while ago when he was clowning Benny for, for getting shot at the in Houston which did a big sense right he had his issues with Jim Jones not too long ago in, in Miami where same thing beating in the fucking in the spot you know what I'm saying should he chill the fuck out at this point now though because he went on stage and he was like yo 20 niggas and like that and, and barely nothing happened to me and i still got my chain we're a canadian podcast talking about freddie gibbs mm. unless he puts out a dope song and i'm gonna put him in the song of the week or he's getting beat up we're not talking about it <laughs> so yeah continue getting beat up <laughs> it's getting him notoriety people are paying attention to him why the fuck not bro and he seems like he can hold a punch or two and get on stage a couple of hours after and show that his face. Did you see the picture of his face puffed out fam, on yeah, stage? I know. The man's face is puff daddied out, fam. Oh, and no. he's they're performing, fam. So it's like, why not continue doing the fucking antics, bro? As long as nobody's killing him, they're just giving him the beats. So shit, bro. And and keep going in power. Yeah. Yeah, keep going on power. <laughs> well, he's on power too. Yeah, he's on power too. So he if he's giving he's, he's doing it, that's what I'm saying. He's on power. He's getting beat up. People are talking about him. I see nothing wrong with what he's doing, bro. Yeah, but listen, making some great music at the same time. He does make some dope music, but there's there's things that can happen after a while, right? You keep on becoming the no the, the pinata and no pun intended, because yeah. I think he has an album called Pinata, right? You you keep on becoming that. After a while, people are gonna start fucking with you. Like, yeah. his fan base are not gangster gangster, but they're going to be like, fam, how many times are you going to get beat up? Like, I don't know if I'm going to copy your next shit. Are they? I, I think we, I think we look at fan base a little bit different from, like, everybody else. I think if we look at the fan base, like, yeah. they have sense or they're just like, oh, okay, well, this guy, yeah, or they would care about the guy. I think they would more feel sorry for him, especially if he, if he turns around the story and this and that and the third, like, look at Little Zan. Little Zan still has people like, yeah, these guys did him wrong and blah, blah, yes, blah. Yes, yes. But you unhatched a great fucking conversation in this Freddie Gibbs thing. Who gets the beatdown pass? Because Lil Xan, yes, his fan base, they're little suburbs kids. They, they don't look him, at him as a gangster as t- type of dude. So if he gets beat down, no fan base loss. Stream's still the same. No disrespect to young Tory, okay? I don't want to bring him up, <laughs> right? But he had a few incidents. But he hasn't been out there like, I'm spinning the block, da 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 yeah. So it's not like his fan base is like, oh, hurt, what the but fuck? It, but it hurts him because he's from Toronto. Yes. So his Toronto fan base is going to look at him like, even though Young Tory super dope, like when he's making his music and shit like that, they're going to look at him like, yo, he, he's getting punked and da 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 They're not going to look at why he's getting punked. You know what I'm saying? The situation. Yeah. They're just going to look at it like, yeah, he was getting punked. So that would hurt him. Same thing. Like, it's not going to hurt Little Zan. I, I don't think it's hurting Freddie Gibb right now. Hmm. I, like, I don't think his numbers are going down. People are not. Whether he went to go perform, like, he's getting shows, he's getting booked. So yeah. I think if you play, I, I think if you're, if you play that fake guy shit and you start getting beat up and shit, like, lace front my you, hmm. I, think, I think they'll still. Being super gangster. Yeah, you can, you can get away with it, fam. Like, okay, Charlemagne because the God. I think that people want to see you get knocked out. Charlemagne the God, you know, broadcaster, popular fucking person in the media. Mm. He, one of his first things back in the days, he caught punched in the back of the head. Can Yo, get a drop. can I get a drop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he ran across the street. Didn't lose one fan. You know what I'm saying? Somebody asked me on the live earlier today, yo, what if a man was to, 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 to box you down at Rolling Loud? Do you think <laughs> that the, the, 
the, the, the, the podcast would get fucked up or like, and I said, no, I, I think niggas already think that I'm pussy because I'm, I'm talking on this microphone. Yeah. They erase all the street shit and all that other stuff from before and say, oh, now you, you, you do podcasting. Oh, these niggas is pussy. So it would be, it'd be okay to see me get the beat down or whatever, God forbid, and it's not going to fucking happen. However, but if it was to happen, it wouldn't be like, oh, we lose fans tomorrow. Oh, them niggas. Oh, I thought he was gangster. No, you guys already don't think I'm gangster. I think that people would kind of turn on whoever, depending on who did it. Because if it's a super gangster guy that doesn't have a previous issue with you, and mm. he just comes up to you and he does something, throw a milkshake or water, they'll look at him like, yo, why are you doing that to Friday? Like, exactly. Why did, why did you do that to your op or something like that? So no, I feel but, like they would feel that way about it to somebody that's super gangster coming up to you and doing that. Yeah. But it was like, I, I don't think it would hurt the pod, fam. I think like, again, if Top 5 came here and threw a milkshake on you guys, had a little scuffle. I think know somebody people... videotaped me on the street getting washed on the road. Like, it's not going to be like, oh, well, fucking half the subscribers just unsubscribe. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? However, I, I also told that person on the live, other way around, I beat the fuck out of someone. Now we lose corporate interest, all types yeah. of shit. Yeah, that, that's the opposite way of it, right? That's why you can't, us being us, we can't, we're the public figures or whatever, we're the mm. public eye. We can't do certain shit, right? If I shoot yeah. you, you're famous. So if you shoot me, you're famous. famous. What's that they gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Jay. So it's like, you gotta like really think there's certain people who can catch the beat down and it's okay out of Freddie Gibbs. Right now, it seems to be okay. It seems his fan base is intact. You know what I'm saying? But other guys, catch a chain snatch, it's over, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Dunzo, fam. Like, well, it, it did the music too, right? The music and everything. I think over the years, people just figured out that Freddie Gibbs wasn't as gangster as he was claiming, right? Mm. So it just became a thing. It was just like, nah, whatever. I think his fan base that he built from time from from day one, because he's always been this lyrical, lyrical guy, they never expected him to be the, oh, I'll, I'll really shoot you. Even though the things he's saying in his lyrical, lyrical stuff is, I'm going to shoot you when I sell my yeah, like, hair on. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's talking that gangster shit, but he's so <laughs> lyrical and poetic. <laughs> Selling heroin or selling drugs is it talking gangster shit. It's you're hustling. Yeah. Like that's not, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can get some money and go sell drugs. Yeah. So I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't put that. But the other part, yes, I do hear him talk that tough that's shit. Like he's gonna, gonna like, shoot I got you. the man them and this yeah. and that third. But he's from a hood. But anybody can get a brick. Can they sell it fast enough? Or can they sell it properly and all that other stuff? That's that's a different question. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying I've heard this around the church. All right. Church guys <laughs> talk about this. Well, listen, I hold your head, Freddie Gibbs. Like people are like in the comments when I posted it, like when I was like, why, Freddie? They're mm -hmm. like, what do you mean? Like, fuck him. Like, mm -hmm. yes, I know he bought this on himself, but like, even if he's trying to do this on purpose to get clout, you gotta chill, fam. Cause somebody might actually, you know, God forbid, take your life, fam. Yeah. Well, some of these niggas ain't playing. They're not the, the jokes are not as funny to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I don't think he cares when he's getting all this attention from. I think we just gave him like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got one more subject before we cut to our break here. The Juno Awards. Hey, can we get a round of applause? Oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody that was at the Juno Awards, everybody that was nominated <laughs> in our culture, everybody that won, all the ladies that were out there looking Stunning. Mm. Yeah, it seems that over the years of us complaining, they heard us, fam. Oh, I hope so. Dude, there's a lot of like hip hop focus on that shit this time. Shout out Six Buzz and Lucas, man. I see Six <laughs> Buzz and Lucas having John Tory scared out there, like, yo, like, like, yo, that whole top five stuff, you know, just a joke, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like five's music, man. Right? You know, steppers. You know, I got steppers in the mayor's office. Yeah, blink but, twice if you're okay, yeah. Mr. Tory. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just, yeah, for sure, man. It was a good look, man. Seeing everybody there, uh, Forever Friday. Um, not me. No, nah, not this Friday. <laughs> um, Paris was over there. Dub J, Maestro, Deborah Cox, Avaya Mighty taking a friggin' dub. Charmaine winning out there. Yeah. I mean, it was dope, man. It was, it was a really good night. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves and I hope this is on to like bigger and better things for uh, all of our, our culture. Performances over there were crazy. Havaya uh, Mighty killed performed. It. Killed it. Um, we love hip-hop alumni, by the way. Yeah, man. Um, our, alumni, our alumni didn't do, uh, or did well, by the way. Yeah. 
yeah, they did yeah, very well. Yeah, Charmaine yeah. won. Charmaine. What did she win? She won, I believe it was rap single of the year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then um uh Havaya Mighty won album of the year. And they were going back and forth with Havaya and um say Northside Benji, who should have won with that. But I, I don't mind that they're giving the female some love, man. She really deserved that. Yeah. And Deborah Cox won, I I believe I forgot what she won, but Deborah Cox was out there doing her thing looking beautiful. Yeah, well. it was some kind of achievement award or something. And my boy, they brought my boy back from fucking somewhere in the States or unless he lives here, Chris Bosch. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. He doesn't Chris live here. Bosch. He doesn't live here. Yo, what's the deal, fam? Is he smashing her? Who, Deborah Cox? <laughs> yeah. No, is it Deborah Cox smashing? No disrespect. Grant Hill? That's Grant Hill's thing, no? Yeah, she was with the next basketball player, eh? I believe it's Grant Hill, if I'm I could be wrong. Yo, she looked good, fam. Yeah, no disrespect to her, like with all due respect, like you know what I'm saying. Also, I believe the, I I seen um Duchess, damn Duchess, she got like an award or something, a really? plan out there for doing some streams and shit. So it was a really good night. No, and that's fair. You know what I'm saying? They looked around at and they they um. I think that was just her hip-hop. getting streams, like just like a streaming award that mm. she just got there, right? But well, it's good that she was recognized. Period, fam. Like they oh, they added a new award for I think rap. Um, breakout artist of the year or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. So they're even adding categories. You know what I'm saying? Stop for the poet, but mm. you know he he killed it. Brought the whole region on stage. Yo, that the whole was, last region on stage. That moment, but like uh, chills to me. Fam. Oh, I thought you were gonna say a tear to my eye. No, oh, I felt the tingles, Brett. fam. Like you're like little Brett. No, fam. I seen the man's walk out with the with the mics and shit, and I was like, okay, I thought they were gonna switch and start doing the next tune, and then then they start all singing together, fam. I caught that little, like, warm, you know, that little tingly feeling. Like, I was like, yo, this is, this is beautiful, fam. Like, it's, it's not, like, sick or, yo, that's sweet. I was like, it's a beautiful sight. Mustafa the Poet, I believe he won um, for album, it's an alternative album or something like that, too, as well. Yeah. Album, Mustafa the Poet. I seen Drake posing with him after. I think. Yeah. I thought that homie, I thought that, that Drake was, like, at home or something. I guess he was somewhere close by. Yeah, Jake's outside, bro. He's in, he's outside. He's out here. Outside yeah, but like, Toronto. I, we're, like, I'm watching shit, right? I'm like, I'm like yo, where's homie? <laughs> Where is he? Like, I'm going to see him, like, no pictures of him. Like, you know, yet. Is he down the street at the crib just watching on YouTube watching. like us? Like, walk, walk, he's probably, man. He's probably it's just down the street. Bed. He's probably making a bet on steak. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm he's making his bet. He's like, oh, yeah, the Junos. Let me go pop up and show face on one, two. You know what I'm saying? The man that probably hit him and like, yo, Drake, you know. He's like, all right, I got to do a one, two basketball game. You yeah. know, chill out with the for a little bit. And Ten minutes. Oh, <laughs> Never shows bit. up. <laughs> show face. Yo, I don't want to say it. It's like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to like remind yeah. you know Ricky bring up shit but he he, he posted like he was watching the game <laughs> I think he was watching Lee's game or some shit yeah he's, he's <laughs> he's like, yeah I'll get back to you guys later. <laughs> yeah. making a dollars fam I'm gonna bet on steak make 100k yeah, or no, something or okay. like a he was probably switching between the two channels no? probably not Come on, <laughs> Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're playing some country shit. Okay, let me get back to the game first. Nah, but man, I'm like, yo, you coming to one of those these Juno parties? Huh? Who's there, fam? Like, who's showing up? Fam? <laughs> is beep beep there? Is he's showing up? I don't. Want, oh, oh so and so's there. All right, I'm far with it. Well, <sighs> at least he's in the city, though. Like, you know what I mean? He's not like Tory Lanez in Miami. Yeah, but Tory Tory came back for like a weekend. <laughs> Oh, he came back for a weekend. <laughs> weekend. Did his thing. He dropped true. You know what I'm saying? Show face, hail up the family, do his thing, and he had to Couple cut. Hugs. Man. You know Remember, he got, he got the court thing that Hold he had to do it, so he probably can't be too far. So he had to All come right? show face. I want to see my yeah. family and come back. <laughs> man, and he... Toy show. No, to, I can't even lie. Toy shows face down here still. I just thought it funny that yeah. like if he was there. Like if Jersey was there, they'd be showing him like every camera of angle course. they could. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like. Yeah, he ain't there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, oh, also, Snotty Nose Res Kids. Big up to those guys. A lot of, we don't mention them on the podcast a lot and stuff like that. Like, barely. I don't think at all. <laughs> but, like, they're a rap group from out there in the West Coast. The native, right? Yeah, indigenous um, yeah. rap group. And like, they're, like, the biggest out of all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I think they won an award. They did a pretty dope show as well. Um, one thing also with the Mustafa performance, or no, the, there, there was a snub I seen on Keep Six Solid. They say that Northside Benji got snubbed for the Album of the Year award. 
Yeah. You I don't think, think so. Habaya Mighty should have got it? I don't think so. <laughs> you agree with the Habaya Mighty choice, right? I, I I agree with it. I think it's um I think Avaya's more getting out to like the world now. Whereas mm. Northside Benji, he's still he's don't get it twisted. Northside Benji's definitely getting out to the world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I think he's just in that hip hop, real hip hop where she's just real like the culture. Yeah. Everything about her, just her being a, even a female, a lady, getting so much attention and doing what she did. Mm-hmm. I believe that it was a good choice. I, 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 I don't knock that at all. I think they got it right. Yeah. The fact that they, that Northside Benji even got nominated, press and them guys got nominated, I think that was a big turn just to show that they're paying attention. I, I think that, I think a lot of people agreed with um, the fact that Northside got snubbed as far as like the Toronto audience. Yeah, of course. Like the, the man, the subset, that's it. Not, to, not to everybody. Because she obviously won for a reason. And I think there's a lot of people in Toronto who really like Habaya Mighty. There is, but... but again, I know the reason. But talk to me, who she... <laughs> he ain't pulling up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like, yeah. You're not we doing see, the politics part. Yeah, they, they're like, we see you at... Roll loud. You ain't trying to pull up at Roll Loud. All right. I know you're definitely not trying to pull, pull up at the Junos. You know. <laughs> yeah. You never know, though. I think if they give Northside Benji a, a, a Juno award, I think he would go up there and do it. I think it would oh, be yeah, big. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because for our culture, fam. That's an award, though. That's different. Like, you're winning it, something. It, yeah, like, that'd be big to give him an award, let you perform, you know, him him showing the love to Houdini and shit like that. I think that'd be big for the culture, and I think that he would do it, bro. I really do think that he'd do it. Yep. Okay. Well, just to finish up with our, our conversation here also, like, um, yeah, I think that, like, with Northside Benji's album, it was a good album. I listened to that more than Havaya Mighty's album. However, I also think her music is a little bit more, what I guess, dynamic. Yeah. It's, it, it's more for everybody. Yes. As in, like, I feel like the Northside, and it's not to like not Northside Benji's music or anything because Northside makes amazing music. Mm-hmm. But I think he makes amazing music for like our culture. Where yes. I think like Hawaii will like branch out to other things. I think as Northside grows as an artist, he'll definitely branch off to other cultures and mm-hmm. other shit like that, right? And she's but, talking about other things in her album. Like he's talking about his life experiences, the hood, different things. And like, you know, he's he has content. But she's talking about that and Black Lives Matter issues and other social issues and like you know stuff that happens with women and it's a lot of stuff that she covers man. I actually I think Gucci's right too because she's it she's in like a lot of the places right whereas like Northside Benji's just in his bubble mm. so they're seeing her whereas they're hearing him yeah so they're hearing about him they're yeah. hearing this guy but they're not actually getting to see this guy and that matters bro like we we can front like yo your music can be amazing and this and that and the third but if you're not there to actually be seen and these guys to be able to like really rock with you, yeah. They, uh, unless your music is like strictly out of here, fam. Yeah, they're gonna nominate you, but they they want you in these places, bro. They want to yeah. be able to see you. You gotta play ball. You gotta play the industry politics, as they say. Facts. But yeah, man, big up to everybody who was attending the awards. Anybody who won the award, even the nominees. You know what I'm saying? It's just an honor to be nominated. You know, I know it's not as big as the Grammys or the Billboards that happened that night and all that shit, but like. It's still for us, it's for, for Canada. Us, you got to push that. Yeah, it's the highest award that you can get in Canada. You got to pay that repeat, bro. Repeat? Yeah, you got to pay that repeat, bro. All right, let's cut to a quick break here. Repeat, Northside Benji, Houdini and Northside Benji. Let's go. Shout out, baby hooligan. Let's see what what episode? It's two what? Two what? 273. Glad y'all made it to the end of this video. And if you like this video right here, we got a couple more for y'all to choose from right here. And make sure to like and subscribe, okay? And make sure to share this video to a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that the We Love Hip Hop Network is the leading network in Canada. Cheer!